What's going on YouTube? This is JabberTech and today we're going to take a look at this GLI mini smart router and this is the 300N version 2 model. You can get this on Amazon for 20 bucks and the whole purpose of having one of these mini routers is basically to connect to your VPN and basically make any Wi-Fi hotspot more secure for your own needs. So this is also a router, a repeater, and an Ethernet bridge. And what this can do, this basically takes any wireless Wi-Fi network or wired network and lets you connect to your own VPN network, making that connection more secure. Because let's face it, when you're traveling and you connect to open Wi-Fi networks, whether it be in the hotel, coffee shops, etc., etc., you really do not know if someone is watching you, if someone's spying on you. And you guys know me by now. I love VPNs. I just signed up for TourGuard. I will be having a review of this service in the next week. But I want to take a look at this and show you the setup process and perhaps do some speed tests and just figure out what it's all about. I've actually never had a mini router, so this is my first time as well. So let's get into this thing right away. So for those of you that want to know the specs of this little router, this is version 2, so this has been upgraded from 64 megabytes of RAM to 128 megabytes of RAM. It has a 580 megahertz processor in here, so that should allow for better Wi-Fi and faster open VPN connections. And then also it has 16 megabytes of flash RAM. Nothing there. Little GLI net user guide. We might have to revert to this later. And this basically shows you how to connect and all that good stuff. There's TorGuard, very nice. And this is the actual router itself. Let's take a look. Another sticker from TorGuard. And your power cable, and it uses micro USB to charge. So this thing is tiny. Let me show you a little comparison next to my Note 8. You can see just how small this thing is. Fits in the palm of my hand. So just for fun guys, I actually pulled out an old Cisco Linksys E3000 router that I use as a repeater these days. And this is the size of it. So this little thing is actually more powerful than this. And of course routers these days are even larger than this one. So this one could be considered a mini router. But anyway, let's take a look at it. So you have your WAN port and your LAN port. You have your power right there. There's a USB reset. This is actually a mode switch. So if you have it to the left, that's when you will be able to use this and have it act as your DHCP server, your firewall, etc. And if you switch it to the right, that's basically bridge mode. So it'll just basically just act as a pass through if you wanted to without any firewall or DHCP server, etc. I'm going to charge it off of a power bank. And that's what's really cool about this five volt mini router. You can power it from a power bank. So let's see what we get when we plug this thing in. And my yellow cord actually matches the router. That's kind of cool. So opening up your Wi-Fi, you will see your mini router right here, GLMT300N. Let's connect to it, enter our password. We're connected. So now we want to open a browser and get into the UI. And here we go. Now you want to select your language. Select your time zone. And then we want to set a password for ourselves. Okay, so this is what we're presented with. The actual UI looks pretty, pretty nice. And then here we go. We have a little graphic here showing you if you want to reset, press and hold for three seconds. And then the three lights, one's for wireless, configurable, and power. So as you see, you have the wireless light is actually blinking now. So we are transmitting and receiving data. So let's see what else we got here. We have our DHCP server. And then here we have our wireless settings. So let's see, you can adjust the power output of the Wi-Fi. So that's pretty good if you want to save some power. And then settings, you have 300 meg, which is the max N and G. So you also have 802.11b N and G. I'm going to leave it as that channel auto and here you can change the 
SSID of your wireless network. I'm just going to leave it as this for now. And then you also have your encryption and then you can put your own password. So let's get out of that. Your LAN IP, you can change the beginning IP address. Let's leave that as well. Here's your WAN address. Enable WAN access if you want. And then you have a client list. So right here I have Jabber servers connected to it. And then your USB, I don't have any connected USB. And then already we're presented that I have a new software version. So let me see what happens. I'm going to download it. So I really like when they allow you to download directly from the settings page from their own UI. Just makes it a little simple. So let me press upgrade and see if there's anything new. I'll be right back again. All right, guys. So we're back after the update. Looks like it's probably just the behind the scene kind of update. I don't see anything else new here. But let's just go through these settings one more time. WAN access, no devices, and we don't have any updates here. So let's see what the app repo is all about. Okay, video, cloud, share, contents of USB disks. So as well as this USB port on the side being for a 3G or 4G modem, you can also connect a flash drive to it and be able to share those files over this mini router. But now what I'm really excited about is the open VPN settings. So let me upload my TorGuard VPN settings. And this is a VPN that I highly recommend. But let me upload my settings and then I'll show you what we're prompted with in order to use this as your VPN mini router on the go. So once you've uploaded your files, I'm just gonna check this force VPN. And for those of you that wanna know what that means, this is just a kill switch so that if your VPN goes down, it'll stop all your internet traffic. That's usually pretty good to have. This way you'll make sure you're connected to your VPN. And then from config file, you'll wanna select which server you wanna connect to. And yes, TorGuard has tons. So let me select the New York one. And then what you want to do is click apply. And then you'll see I am connected right now. So let me show you how to set this up to act as a repeater. Just go to new connection and then you'll see you have a choice from cable repeater. That's your 3G, 4G modem. If you have a modem plugged in there, you can do that. And then tethering. So I'm going to select repeater. Then I'm going to connect to my home network and then you have two modes here you have wisp and wds basically if you want the router to have its own subnet you'd select you'd select wisp but if you want it just to act as a bridge to your wireless network and have your router and have your main router act as your dhcp server then you do wds so what i'm going to do i'm just going to have it create its own just for simplicity and let me connect to this here and then here we go. You see, I am connected to my own home network and you got all the information down here. So if I go to what's my IP address, let me just refresh that again. You'll see that it shows I'm in Seattle when in fact you all know I'm in New York. So I really like this all in all, guys. I know this has been a pretty long video, but I think it's worth it. This mini router will protect you from prying eyes and it's very, very simple to set up. So I'm really happy that it is this simple. I like this very graphic GUI. It really makes this a lot easy. And setup has been a breeze. And let me see, just to show you guys what I can do. Let me connect a few more devices to this thing and then we'll run a speed test. But what I'm gonna do for the speed test is I'm going to switch it back to a server that's closest to me. This way we get a little, little better speeds. So I have my Note 8. I have my tab and I have my PC. So I'm going to click go and let's see what kind of speeds we can expect. All right. So with three devices connected, you'll probably get about two meg on each device. Now keep in mind, I am running a hundred meg down connection here. So with three devices, you're getting 2.52 2 and 2.16 on each device. Upload speed five on one and the other one's about three so i'm going to do a speed test just with 
one more time and then with one device connected because most likely you probably will just have two devices connected at the same time and probably not running a speed test all at the same time. All right, so we're getting three on one, two and a half on the other, 1.6 on the other one. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is let me cancel these speed tests. So you see the speeds went up a bit. It's, you're getting about six megabytes down, which is about right. Shared across three devices was about two a piece. So this mini router definitely is just for traveling, checking your email, maybe doing a little surfing. It's really not meant to connect a ton of devices all doing video intensive downloading or whatever but you see that I'm gonna do one last speed test for you guys you'll see that you get decent speeds and this has nothing to do with tour guard because I'll show you in my review coming in the next day or so so this in no way is the actual speed test for tour guard so make sure you subscribe and watch my review on tour guard you will be surprised at the speeds I get but again guys this is like a little router meant to be taken with you just to protect you when you want to do banking or sensitive information on a hotspot. Now I'm going to go to a YouTube video and just to show you that it does play just fine with the connection. Watch Sport LTE edition. As you can see, I've been running this mini router off of my battery pack and it's not taking that much juice at all. So in order to use this mini router, all you really need to do is have a uh, battery pack, maybe a dual port battery pack to charge your phone and this router at the same time. But overall, I'm really happy with this. I will be including this in my travel bag and taking with me wherever I go. I just like the idea of having my own personal network and TorGuard is absolutely a great service. Make sure to subscribe, thumbs up. I will be re reviewing TorGuard in the next day or so and I've been extremely happy with them. I've come in from private internet access PIA, which is also a very good VPN, but there are major differences between the two and I will tell you about both of them. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed my little review on this router and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.